evening. I don't miss the parties, and I don't miss the glamour, and I don't miss the TV series. It's a different life for Linda Evans in the Northwest with an age-old teacher and a new-age musician. Then... It's Cove over on Lake Union. Welcome to the show. I'm Penny Legate. And I'm Brian Tracy. You know, it's been about a year now since Linda Evans left California and Dynasty and moved up here to the Northwest. But since she's been here, she has kept her life very, very private. Well, recently, Jan Yanahiro caught up with Linda, and she found a woman who's finally doing some things she's wanted to do for a very long time, including falling madly in love. I think all, all things are possible for people who dream. I mean, my life has never been better because I've never been happier within myself, with myself. She's 47 and still looks fabulous. She's always calm, poised, and in control. And worse yet, Linda Evans always seems to be glowing with happiness. I'm having an awful lot of fun. I'm doing all the things that I never had a chance to do while I was working. I'm sort of just living life, you know, watching the sunset and staying up late at night, being in love, <laughs> things like that. I mean, I'm having the best time of my life. <laughs> Today, part of the reason for Linda's radiant glow is the love in her life, new age musician Yanni. This harmonious match came together when Linda heard his music and made a bold move. As a matter of fact, uh, I was with a group of people uh, and we're all big fans of his and they said, let's, let's give him a call. And they said, you give him a call. And I said, oh, thanks, why me? And they said, well, maybe he'll return your call. So I called him and I thought, gosh, you know, it's one thing to admire someone's music, but you don't know quite whether they want you to call them and tell them about it and if they want to be bothered and I heard it. Was... I wanted to get bothered. <laughs> Linda and Yanni right here. After please. the phone call that changed their lives, Linda couldn't wait to share her joy. She recently hosted a Beverly Hills bash to introduce some old friends to Yanni and his music. It's not classical, it's not rock, but it's exciting, it's beautiful, it's romantic. I, it's as if he wrote it just for me. I adore it, completely adore it, before I even knew him. To this night, and to us. It's been a while since Linda hung up her designer shoulder pads after nine years as the long-suffering Christo Carrington. And after all those years of champagne and cat fights, Linda's ready for a change. Do you envision one day that you two would work on a project together? You do the movie, you do the music. You do the movie, I'll do the movie. Yeah. No, you do the movie, I'll do the music. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'd be hopefully. Very happy, yeah, you can tell him. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell hopefully, him. I would like him to do the music for the uh, film that I'm about to do. If he's not too busy, he's Is getting it? awfully popular. What kind of project will it take to bring Linda Evans back to the screen? Well, obviously, a romantic comedy. <laughs> I'm in the mood, so I thought, why not do it? But I didn't want to cry and be depressed and fight and be angry anymore. I said, this, I'm not in the mood. I get up every morning. I'm happy. I'm, I'm smiling a lot, and I wanted to stay that way. The place where Linda found her happiness is her home near Tacoma, Washington. One of her closest friends there is Jay-Z Knight, a wealthy divorcee who claims to be a channeler for 35,000-year-old warrior, Ramtha. I am Ramtha, the enlightened one. Ramtha is one of the greatest teachers that I've ever come across. One of the reasons that I care so for Ramtha's teachings is he teaches love of self. The Ramtha concept may be a tough sell for most of us, but for Linda, it's all very crystal clear. And some people might say, but you know, this belief in Ramtha, you know, I don't, you but know you what see, I mean, the negative What thing. you're saying, though, is um, in a sense that there's a, a relationship here that is what people have put in the tabloids and not, in fact, a reality. Um, nobody follows Ramtha. This is all made up by the press to make it sound interesting. It's a teaching. That who needs to be worshipped? Indeed, you do. And while Linda is a firm believer in the teachings of Ramtha, the man in her life remains unconvinced. No, I have embraced it. I am, uh, I do not easily follow things. Mm. I follow myself, so I don't belong in a lot of groups in my life. I haven't followed pretty much anything. 
But even this slight difference of opinion can't dim Linda's radiant glow. And as far as she's concerned, she has every right to be as happy as she wants. I'm personally very happy with my life. I'm very happy with the way I've made my life turn out. Linda's next project is a made-for-TV movie called I'll Take Romance. Now, in it, she plays a San Francisco weathercaster who's looking for the sexiest man in town. But you know, Brian, I kind of think she already found him. That yawning guy is pretty cute. 